Hi. Good morning. I'd like to welcome you to Poem Praise 2. And certainly, peace and blessings be upon you and your family this day. And we are certainly going to move right along in the Women's Book of Positive Quotations. I, I know it's been a, a couple days, y'all. But certainly, I've been real busy. The balancing act is definitely not just at the circus. The balancing act is definitely not at the park like a teeter-totter. The balancing act, balancing life and things that may come your way to challenge your balance, to keep things in sync and in working order. Certainly, too much is given, much is required. Now, for our next chapter in the Woman's Book of Positive Quotations, we're on chapter 27, Learning from Mistakes. Hmm. And it goes like this. <clears throat> Throughout history, mistakes have led to discoveries. There's the cook who made the first batch of potato chips by overcooking french fries. And the scientist who invented the pacemaker by putting the wrong wire in a recording device. Walt Disney filed for bankruptcy before launching his famous resort. And Oprah Winfrey was fired from her reporting job before she became one of the world's most famous personalities. Our mistakes are important too. They are often the foundation of personal growth. Although they are sometimes painful and embarrassing. Our mistakes prove that we're living and learning. Avoiding mistakes means we're avoiding choices that could change our lives. The thrill in living comes from trying new things, entering new relationships, and plunging into opportunities, any of which might not turn out the way we envision it, but any harm caused by such failures is always less significant than the harm we do to ourselves by living passively. Sometimes it's difficult to forgive ourselves for having made mistakes. We hold ourselves to high standards and we're discouraged when we fall short of our own expectations. In fact, we tend to judge ourselves more harshly than others do. People will accept an apology. When we admit ourselves, excuse me, when we admit our mistakes, Well, due to the fact I just said uh, our, ourselves, when we certainly admit our mistakes to ourselves in regards to ourselves and forgiving ourselves, I, I just need to say that because I just had a slip of the, the words, so I just thought I'd holler at somebody who may be listening to the channel. We certainly got to start with the uh, forgiving ourselves for our past mistakes and uh, actually just apologizing to self. If you apologize to somebody else, certainly apologize to self for the self-reflection. Okay? Now back to 
what I was reading. Now, people will accept an apology when we admit our mistakes and genuinely try to correct them. In return, we extend the same level of understanding to ourselves and understanding to others. To ourselves, not in there. I just said that. But in the book, it's to others. We've all gained experience and wisdom thanks to our mistakes. So, I know I'm reading this for, from a book in regards to mistakes and learning from our mistakes. And sometimes it's certainly a lot easier said than done. Definitely is. Sometimes it's, mm, what shall I say? It may hurt while you're going through the growing pain. But the strength you will gain to mount up like eagles and soar the skies. Notice I picked a bird that flies by itself. You don't see no flock of eagles. Birds of a feather flock together. You know, you just see an eagle, chicken, hawk, whichever one. You don't see them soaring in groups. So sometimes, sometimes you're going to have to lead them flock of birds. Them birds of a feather that flock together. And go on a, a mission and a direction by yourself. Don't worry. You're going to run into some other ones that's up there by themselves. The mission not for everybody depending on where you're going. You're going to have to lead some folks. Them birds of a feather that flock together. Unless you're going to lead all the birds. <laughs> Instead of being a follower, become a leader. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That was something to ponder. Think about. We got this, you know. All right, now. Now, that's going to be the end of Poem Praise 2 right now. I certainly want you to have a blessed morning. And... Uh, if it be thy will, I will be hollering at you real soon. So, later, y'all. <laughs>